Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing a review on the Patrick Ta For Face Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. That is too much to try to remember. I have it on my face right now, and I think we did pretty good with the shade match. But you gotta watch to see my complete thoughts on the application the coverage, if it's buildable, how it looks with just the cream, and then adding the powder, all the good stuff, we get into all the details. But before I get into that, if you are new, I would love for you to join the family, so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload, we do hair, nails, makeup, a little bit of fitness, so we're into all things beauty on this channel. If you wanna see my thoughts on the Patrick Ta complexion products we're just gonna say that then stay tuned and keep on watching so we are starting off up close and personal to talk about this patrick ta i always get these names major skin cream foundation and finishing powder duo now, I did pick, well, I think I swatched, yeah, I swatched this in the store. And to be honest, I'm glad I did because I picked up shade number 10, 4. And I had originally started to go with deep 1, which is a cool red, but that one was way too deep for me. The cream part of it was. Tan 4 says it's a golden warm. <sighs> I know my skin tone looks golden. I just always feel like it doesn't look right on me in pictures. For some reason, it looks more yellow than I like. So that's why I tend to lean more neutral. This retails for $52. It says it is a pressed powder formula and a cream formula. So you get both and it gives you medium coverage with a natural finish and it is good for pores. Also says that it's best for oily and combo and normal skin. It says it's a duo that creates, that includes a blendable medium coverage foundation paired with a satin finished powder. You get 0.42 ounces of cream and 0.31 ounces of powder. So we're gonna see what this does for my skin. As y'all know, I have a little bit of discoloration here. I've had acne issues before. I'm always working on clearing up my dark spots, but this is the area that I'm mainly worried about. The packaging looks like his other packaging, which I do love. It is this chrome finish. It is a rose gold, which I don't think is picking up on camera because of the lights. And then same component, and it gives you the cream, I'm trying to get the glare away. Cream at the top, powder at the bottom with this little plastic to protect the cream from getting stuff in it so love that i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys so this is what it looks like and i mean i think that looks good because it is a little darker how i like it just a tad but it is warm but i think it's gonna be okay so we just need to see what kind of coverage we're gonna get from it because i don't normally do medium I normally do full and then you know like I don't buy medium coverage foundations I will buy full coverage and then you can shear it down medium and then you got to try to build it up and wonder if it's gonna be enough you never know so I already have my moisturizer and my primer I have my La Mer primer on so I'm just gonna go in with a brush it does not give you anything to use with this so there's no sponge or anything like that I think I'm gonna start on one side just with the brush and see how much product I can pick up and build. And then the other side, I'm gonna use my finger and kind of dot it and blend it out and see if that helps do more. So I'm just gonna take my brush and right now I'm just kind of swirling it around in there trying to pick up some product. And let's see. Okay, so I do see some coverage, and I don't feel like this looks super yellow, which is good. That is actually really pretty. So this is what my face looks like without it. 
and this is what it looks like with it and I mean y'all saw what I picked up I don't feel like it was a lot I swirled in it a good bit but definitely feels like a medium coverage but that looks a lot better than I thought it would so let's try with my finger and I'm just gonna pick some up and dot 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 which I'm sure this is gonna get more product on my face to start with, but once I blend it out, I'm not sure how it's gonna blend. Is it gonna be more coverage, same coverage, or whatever? My brush and just stipple to try to keep as much coverage as possible. But that is covering pretty well. I did not expect this shade to work this well, if I'm honest. That looks really, really good. I'm gonna tell y'all, I think people don't really understand when I say this. The reason why I like my foundation to be a little darker is because I also feel like it helps to cover my dark spots because it almost kind of acts like a color corrector too. And then you can always lighten it up with concealer or powder if you need to but I just feel like I get the best tone and coverage with something that's a little darker. Anything that's too light, once your powder melts in and everything, it's still gonna look a little light and I don't wanna look casket ready. This is what it looks like. I mean, it blends in really, really easy. It spreads well and I think this looks really good on my skin. It does, like I said, medium coverage. You can still see some of my discoloration here got some little texture happening on my face which whatever um but yeah i'm gonna see if i can build this up so we're gonna go back in with the brush on this side to try to build it and then on this side with my finger again it also says that this is supposed to be really good for pores and maybe that'll be once I put the powder on. I do feel like that gave me more coverage. So I would say that this is buildable. So let's see what happens with my finger on this side. Mainly just concentrating it where I need it the most. I just don't love doing stuff with my fingers. So brush will probably be the main way that I apply this and just yeah that definitely gave me more coverage so this is buildable for sure this looks way better than i thought it would wow like this is almost travel bag worthy i'm trying to decide if i want to put my concealer on first and then do the powder or just powder let's go ahead and see if I just powder this area so I'm just gonna take my elf powder brush the other brush I used was just a luxie round top blender brush I always love thicker brushes to do my foundation for more coverage so I'm just gonna go in this is what it looks like on the brush and I'm just gonna pat so you can see that took away the shine. You can see how this still has a glow and it also kind of cooled off the powder a little, cooled off the foundation a little bit. I do feel like this looks golden. This does not look as much. I hope you guys can see that because I can definitely see it. But dipping my brush in here, this is very powdery. It is leaving a lot of kick up in the pan. but I like how this looks better with the powder for sure. So I've set most of my face. I do want to do concealer and finish the rest of my face. So I didn't put the powder under my eyes, but I definitely like how this looks when it's set better than by itself. looks a little too shiny for my personal taste, but it actually still does look a little dark, which I like. I am surprised. So this shade actually worked out really, really well. Comment below, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you think about how it looked before the powder and after. 
I think this looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. All right, guys. So this is it for the final face. Kind of went a little crazy with the eyes because I'm playing with a new palette, but this is what my base is looking like. And to be honest, I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of loving it. I did not expect this at all. I do have a new concealer on that I'm trying out. This is the Colfi Main Match Concealer Corrector. I do like it. Um, and then I use my Patrick Ta Bronze and Sculpt, whatever he calls it. And then I also use the blush for my cheeks although i feel like with all the fallout i had on my face i would put some more blush y'all know me um but yeah i love how this all looks i love like this might go in my travel bag that is how much i love it and that is saying a lot so comment below let me know what you think i do feel like my face looks very blurred in the cheek area which is normally where my texture tends to show up a lot. My forehead doesn't look bad, nothing crazy. I have seen worse. Everything has set down and it feels very comfortable on my face. So if you're thinking about trying this and you are close to my complexion, take that with a grain of salt. Um, I really think you should try this. I definitely think it's worth it. Go in store, check the shades if you can. I think it's worth it, do it. That is it. That is all I have to say. I absolutely love the Patrick Ta for Face Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. They got too much with these names. Again, I'm in shade Tan 4 and this is it. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. Comment below. Let me know what you think about my face and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.